Horatio Spafford was a well-known lawyer and businessman in Chicago in the 1860s, where he lived with his wife Anna and their five children. He had invested heavily in real estate along the shores of Lake Michigan. He was a prosperous man and a devout Christian. However, in 1870, a series of events began to turn Horatio's world upside down. That year, Horatio and Anna's only son died of scarlet fever at the tender age of only four. A year later, while the Spaffords were still grieving the loss of their son, the Great Chicago Fire broke out and destroyed nearly every one of Horatio's investments. His entire life savings was gone. Aware of the toll these disasters had taken on his family, Horatio decided to take his wife and four daughters on a holiday to England, where they planned to accompany the famous evangelist D.L. Moody on his next crusade. However, just before they set sail, a last-minute business development forced Horatio to delay. Not wanting to ruin the family holiday, he persuaded his family to go on as planned and he would follow along later. With this decided, Horatio stayed in Chicago while Anna and the girls boarded the French steamship Ville du Havre to set sail for England. But several days later, Horatio received devastating news. The Ville du Havre had been struck by an iron sailing vessel from England. The ship sank in only 12 minutes, claiming the lives of 226 passengers. It was the worst disaster in naval history until the sinking of the HMS Titanic 40 years later. The next day, he received a telegraph from Anna from Wales. It read these six words, survived alone, what should I do? The Spafford's four daughters were among those who perished. After hearing the terrible news, Horatio boarded the next ship out of New York to join his bereaved wife. During his voyage, the captain of the ship called him to the bridge. A careful reckoning has been made, he said, and I believe we are now passing the very place where the Ville du Havre sank. And it was there while staring into the watery grave of his beloved daughters, that Horatio penned the words to the great hymn, It is well with my soul. Explain 
how a man can be dead and then leave again. Well, that's just insane. Lazarus said, boy, I heard his voice. He spoke life to me, the death set me free when he called my name. When he called my name. I heard his voice when he called my name. I made my choice. I knew my life would never be the same after he called. Oh, yeah, when Jesus called my name. Zacchaeus Can you tell us About that Jesus In a sycamore tree I climbed up to see The Lord passed my way Then the Savior called out Today I'll stay at your house So I took him in He forgave all, all my sin And he called me by name When he called my name I heard his voice When he called I made my choice I knew my life Would never be the same After he called Oh, oh yeah When Jesus called my name After he called Oh, yeah, when Jesus called my name.